Hey everyone, I'm Jensen. Today is Thursday, October 15th, and today I am breaking down Ohio Governor Mike DeWine's latest coronavirus press conference because there is a lot of information you need to know to get in the loop today. So first things first, I'm gonna get you all caught up on the latest coronavirus data from the state. Today, there were 2,178 new cases compared to the 21-day average of 1,338. There were five deaths compared to the 21-day average of 15, 108 hospitalizations compared to the 21-day average of 84, and 43 ICU admissions compared to the average of 13. Now, yesterday's daily increase was actually the highest we've seen since the pandemic began, and then today's daily increase beat that. So today's is the new record. For reference, on September 20th, less than a month ago, there were just 762 cases. And of course, with more testing, that means more cases, but with that, you would expect or at least hope for the rate of positivity to then decline. However, Ohio is seeing the opposite. The positivity rate has jumped up to 5.4% today for then a seven day rolling average of 4.2%. A stark difference from less than a month ago on September 23rd, where the rate was at a low of 2.7%. And another concern is with hospitalizations. On September 20th, we had 563 COVID patients in Ohio hospitals. Yesterday, we had 1,042 patients, COVID patients in Ohio hospitals. So it's basically doubled in a short period of time. And ICU admissions also hit a high today with the largest 24 hour jump since at least April. Now I do wanna pause because I realize this all sounds just a little bit bleak, but let's talk about some things that we've already accomplished. The state never saw a massive spike like in states like California or New York, and our hospitals never got overfilled. So we've done some good things. We've beaten this down before and leaders have expressed a lot of confidence in our ability to do that again. But DeWine said that now is the time to be vigilant. Health leaders explained that the spread isn't coming from places like schools, but from social gatherings. People feel comfortable and are less likely to wear masks or distance, but weddings and funerals and other big events like this are where this virus is often spreading. And that can have an impact on what schools choose to do. So let's focus on what's happening locally. For the first time in a long time, Lucas County is back in the level three red category of the state's public health advisory system. And that makes a total of 29 Ohio counties in that level three red zone. Lucas has met four indicators and they are new cases per capita, sustained increase in new cases, proportion of cases not in a congregate setting, and sustained increase in outpatient visits. So what does level red mean? Basically, we should be doing all the things we normally should be doing, like washing our hands, keeping a distance, being outside when possible, wearing a mask, all of those things. But in addition to that, we should decrease in-person interaction with others, consider necessary travel only, and limit attending gatherings of any number. And again, these are not orders, these are just best practices. However, the mask thing, that is still an order. We are still under a statewide mask order. So here's a reminder of what that means. Everyone 10 and older should be wearing a mask at an indoor location that's not a residence, outdoors when they're not able to keep six feet of social distance from people not in your household, and when waiting for, riding or driving or operating public transportation like a taxi car service, private ride share, etc. Of course, there are a number of exemptions to the rule, and as a reminder, they are if you're someone who has a medical condition or a disability that makes it unsafe to wear a mask, if you're communicating with someone who relies on lip reading while actively exercising or playing sports, those who officiate at religious services, those who are actively involved in public safety, and those who are actively eating and drinking. But a big question now is, Will schools start going remote? Well, that's up to each individual district. Mommy, for example, has already said the change in alert level won't impact their decision to have in-person learning, but other districts might come to a different conclusion. But ultimately, leaders say schools are doing a good job and, again, are not the source of the spread. The spread is occurring outside of these institutions and large social gatherings, so it comes down to individual choices. Health leaders have said that what is happening in the community will reflect in our schools, our universities, and in our nursing homes. And when it comes to herd immunity, doctors say the safest way to do that is with a vaccine. Herd immunity is sort of a, a good thing, but herd immunity really is more defined by, and our standards is mostly from vaccines. In other words, when there's a herd immunity, you know, part of it is from people getting a disease and then they're immune, but the bigger part of it is the vaccine. You don't want to do herd immunity by, by exposing people to the disease alone.
that, that just increases the number of deaths. So we are strongly supportive of vaccine-driven herd immunity. So if cases are on the rise, are more health orders on the horizon? Well, DeWine said today that his team has no plans to issue any more stay-at-home orders or anything like that, but he was hesitant to say that it absolutely couldn't happen. We don't have any plans to do shutdowns, uh, but no governor can stand up here during the pandemic and, and you know say, under no circumstances will we shut something down. And that just, that would be irresponsible. We have no plans uh, to shut anything down. Um, we believe, as you heard from the, from the doctors, uh, that there is a safe way to do most of the things that we as Ohioans want to do. DeWine said yesterday that he's confident things will get better. They may get a little worse before they do, but ultimately things will get better. So that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. I'm Jensen, and now you are in the loop.